Hi YouTube, my name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the dual momentum trading strategy. This strategy is behind Trendbot and Marginbot, which you could use through Tradium. So if you'd like to learn how you could outperform the market with this innovative strategy, then continue watching. Back in 2017 and 2018, when I was first trying to find a profitable strategy to trade the cryptocurrency market, I came across this book, Dual Momentum Investing. Gary outlined two key concepts, which are absolute momentum and relative momentum. Absolute momentum is more of the traditional trend following approach where you would look at the performance of a stock or an asset over a given time frame relative to the US dollar. So if it made a positive return over the past year, as he used in his example, then you would buy the asset as you would assume that it would keep trending up. If it had a negative return over that period of time, then you would sell because you would assume that it would keep trending down. Relative momentum looks at a basket of stocks or assets, at least two of them, and compares the performance relative to each other. In his example, he looked at the S&P 500 and the All Country World Index, ACWI, excluding the US to look at the rest of the world. In his gem strategy, he would compare to the relative performance between those two indexes and select the one that performed the best. He would then compare that to US bonds and if it performed better than US bonds, which it, this is the absolute momentum part, then he would hold the index. Otherwise, he would just hold the bond. So basically, he looked at decades of historical data, applied the strategy and saw that it had significantly outperformed the market with reduced risk or volatility as measured by the annual standard deviation. After learning about this, I still wasn't too sold because I was wondering if it was known to be a profitable strategy, then why is it still working? Everyone would join it and it would lose its edge over time. But he went over some behavioral factors that may explain why it is still effective. And basically it comes down to it's a very difficult strategy to actually follow through with. It basically buys when, when the price is high and you want to sell, and it sells when the prices went down, which is when you'd think you want to buy because, you know, buy low, sell high. But in this strategy, you buy high and sell higher. So because people have a hard time sticking to it, they don't. So it keeps its edge over time as not everybody is following, not too much money is following the same strategy. So now that I was more convinced on the strategy and that it would hold up over the long term, I used a bit of my mathematical education from my physics background and did back test on cryptocurrency data. There were a lot of tweaks that were made, a lot of filters, a lot, we looked more at volatility and volume, but eventually we came to the strategy that is behind Trendbot now. For Trendbot and Marginbot at Tradium, we allow users to pick between say 5 to 20 coins as a typical range. We then look at absolute momentum of each coin in your portfolio to determine whether it has went up or went down during a given time frame. We actually look at multiple time frames, unlike in the book. If it had positive absolute momentum, we then look at relative momentum compared to all the other coins that have a positive absolute momentum to determine exactly what position size to have for that coin. We don't just pick one coin that has performed the best. We compare it to the relative performance. So if, for example, Bitcoin performed twice as well as Ethereum over the multiple time frames, then Bitcoin would have twice position size as Ethereum. Say there's a third coin in the portfolio, Litecoin, and it performed negatively during that period, then it would have no position at all. If all coins in your portfolio have been in downtrends, then it would simply go into US dollar, which would be similar to Gary going into bonds in his gem strategy. That's basically it. That's an introduction to the dual momentum strategy that Gary proposed in his dual momentum investing book and a little bit of information on how we apply it to Trendbot and Marginbot through Tradium. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to learn more about the different systems we have and how to actually use them through Tradium, then make sure to subscribe.